everyone! Today I'd like to talk to you about the summer bulbs that I'm getting ready to plant in my garden. So March to May is a really good time to do so and I'll have a bit of time to spread all the work out. What's really good about a lot of summer bulbs is that you can grow them in containers or in the ground so that gives you a great flexibility on how you want to use them. So what did I pick? So of course dahlias are the star of the show in summer. They bloom from July typically and last year for me I had some of my last blooms in November. So that's an amazing blooming season. One of my first color schemes is around reds. So this is a bit new for me but I really wanted more vibrant colors in the garden. So I picked a red dahlia blend with a mix of doubled flower and single flower dahlias. I also got a dahlia called Mexican Star. It has darker petals and a really deep yellow center. It's single flowered and I think it's going to be absolutely striking and I also got a mix with some pink yellow and another red one those are Akita Vancouver and Cambridge I also have dinner plate dahlias the dinner plate dahlias are typically producing really large blooms so this one is called black touch it's a really deep red like burgundy color I think it's going to be a stunner in a border and I really love white blooms so I picked a couple of white dahlias I have dahlia my love I have dahlia aspen and also a dahlia called Shiloh Noel. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's a little bit more pink, so that should be absolutely stunning as well. I already had some dahlias in my garden, so I think I already had dahlia Hailey Jane and a couple of dinner plates varieties. So if I find them, I'll also pop a couple of pictures on the screen so you can see. So hopefully we should have a really nice menagerie of colors. Then another bulb that really screams summer to me are gladiolas. And again, I've added a little bit to my collection and I have two new color schemes for this year. A blends that are a little bit more in the blues and the purples, Gladiolus Milka, Essential and Performer. So again this kind of blue purplish white mix is going to be really really pretty. Then I got Gladiolus Priscilla, that's pink with a yellow center and a darker pink rim. I think that is going to be also absolutely beautiful and contrast really well with the blues. And I also got Nova Lux, that's just a plain soft creamy yellow. So I know, I know Dallas and Gladiolus are some of the stars of the summer, but for more shaded areas, which I also have in my garden, I chose some begonias. So I have a couple of mixes. I, this is a mix called Cascade and I also have a begonia called Florence. It's it's a lighter pink and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And then two bulbs that I'm introducing for the first time in my garden, some Nerine, so this is the classic pink Bodani. And I also got one Astilb, Astilb? Astilb, I don't know how to pronounce that, one Astilb. And the variety is Brunschweiler. I'll <laughs> pop the names on the screen, I apologize if I'm butchering those. So that's it for now. As of end of March, I may still add to that collection and of course you'll see the bulbs that I had previously. I hope this inspired you and I can't wait to see your summer garden. So make sure to follow me on Instagram and tag me there and I'd love to see what you put in your gardens for the summer. See you next time. Bye!